Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Robert Arrington. You're watching Deer Meat for Dinner. It is middle of October. It feels like it's the middle of July and I'm in the mood for some fresh fish. She's ready to go. Let's catch bait. We got mullet, y'all. They keep jumping out. Oh, stay in there. We're ready to fish, y'all. Guys, now this is my bottom bait. It's a mullet with the tail trimmed off. I'm using about 10 feet of leader. This is 25 pound test monofilament to a regular swivel to two ounces of lead. And as you can see, the mullet's out there, about 10 feet away, and we're gonna drop them down to the bottom. If you're new to this, a conventional style reel like that, is much easier to feel the bottom but I've been doing it quite a while and this little light rod I just love it's one of my favorite setups it's a Shimano Travella rod with a Shimano Saragossa reel all the power you'd ever need with okay so now I just hit bottom now you reel down and try to move it as little as possible Whenever I'm bottom fishing like this, I like to hold the rod. My pinky will be behind the reel. These two will hold in front of the reel, and then this will be like my trigger, and I'm feeling for a bite. Sometimes it'll be just a pick, pick. Other times it's pow. But you want to hold the reel like this so that if he takes it, he doesn't take your rod from you. I'm not sure what I have, but you nailed this little live bait. Sent one down with his tail cut off. Got swallowed. First fish of the day, y'all. What may it be? Little baby mutton snapper. He's not legal, but he sure is pretty. Check that out, y'all. Beautiful fish. Now. You're on your own. All right. He went down. Hopefully that hook wasn't lodged too much. Instead of trying to dig it out, let him go with it. I was actually sitting here me and John were sitting here rigging up this rod so we could put down a bigger bait. Next thing you know, kapow! Nice fish, y'all. Nice fish. Not sure what it is. Has the feel of a big mutton snapper. Ate a live mullet. And the reason I say it feels like a mutton, see how he's sliding right now? A mutton will dig, 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 and then you'll slide. If I catch a big mutton today, he's getting cooked on the half shell, just like we did those redfish out at Baffin Bay. And I would like to give Aubrey and Miss Sally a big shout out. They were unbelievable people. I had such a great time. I see color, although I don't know what I have. It's a mutton snapper. I think. No, it's a little, it's an African pompano. Look at this, y'all. That is an African pompano. 
Look at that. Now, I have no idea how long Africans have to be. If he's legal, he's gonna be cooked. So I'm gonna throw him in there. Look on my phone. In front of my phone. I'm gonna do this just to show you. I have, I'm not doing this because my brother owns the app. I'm doing this because it really is an awesome app. Come on, fish rolls, where are you at? Fish rolls. Okay, so all you gotta do, this is real time, I swear to you, I'm not jacking around. Put right there, go African, African Pompano. Minimum size, 24 inch fork length. He's not big enough. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Beautiful fish. What a beauty. Look at those big long sickles. Come on, go ahead. Off he goes. Clean, healthy release. That's the first time we've ever caught an African pompano on deer meat for dinner. And I did it on the spinning rod. When you're setting up to go bottom fishing, very important to bring a variety of weight sizes. Like I got twos, fives, eights, and 12 ounce leads. Right now the tide, ooh, the tide, oh, getting a bite. Oh, darn it, missed it. Probably got my bait. But um, the tide is going very slow right now. So two ounces gets me down to the bottom and 100 feet of water, no problem. Here, oh, we just got bit there. Come on. A lot of times when I get a bite, I'll drop it back to him a little bit. Raise your rod, then you come down with them. Getting bit here, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oops, I. Look at that, y'all, I just got cut by that braid. Such a rookie move. I mean, there he is, ate it again. I got drilled by the braid. What not to do while fishing. Holy mackerel. This is not the original fish. Got a nice little yellowtail snapper here. 100% legal, no doubt. Beautiful fish. I can promise you, that is not the first fish that ate. Make sure that fish is nice and submerged in ice. Oh, getting bit, getting bit, getting bit. Come on, take it, take it, take it, take it. There he is. Nice fish. Nice. Tell you what, there's just nothing better than coming out here. Me and John, or me and Sarah, there's nothing better than coming out here, catching fish that I know we can take back to the house, cook up, and have a nice meal. Oh, groin. Now, that is an edible fish, totally, 100%, but I'm not gonna keep them. This rod is so sensitive, I can feel the bait down there twitching. I got a live mullet with the tail cut off. I can feel them twitching in 100 feet of water. Oh, 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 nice fish. Just nailed it. Are you kidding me? Biggest bite of the day right there by far. There he is. Oh, nice one. Nice, that's nice snapper right there. That's what I'm after. Feels like a mutton. Nice fish. Yeah, now, here's where you gotta be smart. Only using 20 pound, te or 25 pound test leader. I've gotta worry about him chafing me off, but I've also gotta worry about the sharks that will eat him. So, I've got to reel them in fast, but not so fast that I break my leader. This has dinner written all over it. When you're pumping like this, pull up, reel down, but you're not, you're not making a real jerky motion. The rod is a lever. The reel 
is what gathers the line. Oh, here he comes. What do I got? Looks like a grouper. It is. It's a red grouper. Look at this, y'all. That's a red grouper. Nice. Ooh, he just threw up all over me. Nice fish. Wow. Um, right there. 17 inches. He's not long enough. There he goes. All right, y'all. Going back down. Down to the uh, bottom. See if we can't catch one. Oh, just got nailed. There he is. Oh, that fish was coming on up off the bottom. I don't know what it is. It's not, it hit it pretty hard, but he's not fighting at all. Yellowtail snapper. Look at that. I'm talking about choking on it. Are you kidding me? He's illegal, so I'll keep him, but when you're catching yellowtails, they've got to be submerged in ice. There's a little bit of water in there to give it that slush, but we're rocking a little bit. And I don't want to hear ice sloshing all day. So that's why it's like that. Okay, so that is a butterfly mullet. Take my hook, go right up through the bottom lip, out through the top, there you go. The reason I do that is so that he does not spin on the way down. You want your bait to fly down. If the bait sw spins going down, he'll twist your leader all up. Next thing you know, you got a huge knot. And that's not what you're looking for. Now let's continue rigging because on this rod, I'm gonna fish a bigger bait. The tide has picked up from the south to the north. We're gonna fish a longer leader, heavier leader, and I think we're gonna catch us either a nice big grouper or mutton or something. We're gonna catch something big because Sarah just called me and asked if I would go have a cookout with her this evening. And I think that was awesome. So yeah, we're gonna do that. Ready? There he is. First bait down out here in the deeper water, got him on. Ain't sure what I got on, but I got something. Hot dog, y'all. Hopefully he's edible. I mean, we're out here fishing totally blind. We don't have a clue, no numbers. That's getting bit. That just goes to show you how good the fishing is out here. Stay out of the prop there, buddy. We got a grouper. We got another grouper. Look at that. Hot dog. Now let's see how big he is. Yeah, look at that. I mean, it's not often you come out here. Whoa, missed him. I gotta take care of this one. How big are you? Come on, man, be big enough. Mouth closed, pinched tail. Man, you're just short. Oh. Go ahead, buddy. Go down, go down, go down. Go, go, down. He's going back to his home. All right, you guys, we didn't set the world on fire, but we caught plenty to eat. I just called Sarah, and her and the girls have been hanging out with mom, my mom, and they're gonna meet us at Dubois Park. When I was a kid, it didn't look like this. There was an old little shack right there that a guy named Zeke had Zeke's Marina. He used to always fix my 9.9 .9 motor. This brings back a lot of memories. A lot of memories. This is a great- What are we eating at? Right here. Hey, John. Mama and Emma. Yeah, they smells like a fish. Emma's been fussing today, so. That's she wanted to see Grandma. Yeah. Hi, honey bud. Mama 
needed a break, and we're gonna have us a little cookout right here at Dubois. Where does it work? Okay. So y'all gotta hear this. This is my mom. She'd been bringing me right here to this very spot for literally since I was born. I mean, this is where we came. What you got? What you got on there? Yeah. You, that's a redfish. Are you kidding me? That is a redfish, buddy. Oh, that's nice. Huh. Bro, I've fished right here my whole life. I never caught a redfish ever. Are you kidding me? Got your hook back? Dude, take a picture with me. Are you kidding me? Oh, nice release. Give me some skin. Robert, what? Oh, yeah. So, I would have never guessed that in a million years. Oh. Kellen comes down here and wrecks a redfish. Awesome fish. So Kellen just caught that awesome redfish, and now we are gonna show you a special way to clean a yellowtail snapper. Now that little thing right there was sent to me by a fan, and I don't know who he was, so I'm sorry. But I've always said it looks awesome, and this is my first time really using it. it does a great, awesome job scaling. Holy mackerel, this is amazing. Really good job scaling this fish. Now our second step, I'm gonna to try to get this so you can see it. We're gonna come in here right at the vent, go all the way to the back, and we're gonna fillet this fish from the bottom side. Perfect, we got four nice yellow tails, all butterflied beautifully. Now you gotta understand, our big camera, for some reason the battery died and we're out of luck there, but we do have the little camera, so I hope it works out. Gonna use a little bit of fish and chicken, not a lot. These fish are so delicate, mild, wonderful to eat, you don't need a lot. Here's some wild lemons off my mom's tree. We'll just... Uh, look at the juice. Let's go cook these rascals. Butter. Smoke's not gonna mess with my folks All right, y'all, and that is a job well done. This is Sarah's favorite way to eat corn. Mm, mm -hmm. Dad, you want a piece of fish? Yeah, it's really mm. good. Make a plate. It's really good. Are you kidding me? What kind of fish are well, they? My mouth is not that big, baby. What are they, yellow tails? Yeah, yellow tails.
He gets practice with Arya. Come on, Mom, make a plate. That's what it's all about. The skin on the fish is nice and crispy. Or not crispy, but nice and flavorful. Uh, How's it going? Awesome. Mm. Wow. Mm. It's really good. Try some. All right, you guys, what a special day. What a special place. We're at Dubois Park here in Jupiter, Florida. This is my mom. She brought me here when I was a little kid. This is my daughter, and I'm sure she'll spend many days here. <laughs> Who's that? That's me. But, uh, this is what life is all about. Good times, catching fish, eating good food, and having fun as a family. So I appreciate all of y'all being a part of it. Deer meat for dinner would be nothing without all of you guys. So I really appreciate you for being a part. I love you, and we're gone.